Hey guys, welcome to our Christmas special. Merry Christmas to y'all. And as you can see here, we are about to tuck in to a Christmas feast. Pigs and blankets, Brussels and bacon, some other vegetables, roast tatties, ham, potatoes. But we're missing one thing. You can't complete Christmas dinner without having a big, juicy turkey. Turkey, turkey. Oh, the piece oh. de resistance. The turkey. All cooked by Chef Shred and all supplied by Campbell's Meat. So let's get tucked in, because I'm very hungry. Oh, come on, boys. Oh, oh. Look at that. Crumbs me. Oh, boys. <laughs> there you go. That's lovely. Jeez. Bit of gammon. Marsh dates. What's this? Stuffing. Oh, that's what that is. I thought it was that. Some roasties, but. And all this is being made. None of this shot brought. Tom and I shot a turkey. So we've just actually done. You know, is that enough? We've just finished our event session, so this is uh, coming in really handy. Look at that, Brussels and bacon, eh? Mm. Oh my goodness, I'm starving. What do Brussels, Brussels and bacon have in common? They both start with B. <laughs> mm. Look at this, first of the Christmas dinner of the year. You chat us a wee stuffing and bacon. How many, how many pigs and blankets do you reckon you can eat, Tom? Five. Five. Wow. Ho oh, ho, buzzy. You know what? The most disappointing thing about Christmas now is the crackers. They don't make a bang anymore. They've took the bang bit out of the have crackers they? now, so. No, they have. Yeah, they have. So you can only you only get crackers now that don't make a noise. Look, watch. Hold on, I'll put this over. I only learned this because I was in Glasgow the other day and I, someone told me this. Look. See? Huh? They've ruined it. <laughs> oh. Oh. You liar! Jesus. Oh so and so. Jesus. Oh, f <laughs> okay, don't, don't keep that in because that was. Someone told you. Someone told me that you, they don't do it anymore. There's a tongue twister. Many mumbling mints are making merry music in the moonlight. What is the snowman's favourite song? Ice, ice, baby. Good one. There's no business like snow business. See, that's a better joke. That's a better answer. <laughs> we wish you a merry Christmas and a happy New Year. Oh wow, that's banging, man. Yeah, so we've just. Finished training events as well, so a good event session. Oh, back together for one week only. Never again. Nightmare training with him. Christmas dinner is only good if every single bit of food goes together and it all goes together, mm. so it's nice. So it's been a bit of a busy, busy year, wasn't it? Very busy. We've taken on a new videographer, <laughs> uh, Tomo. We did uh, this, the last part of the year was. Pretty hectic we were doing. What did we do? Top dance with KFC. Wait, shut up! Oh. Then, what else? You did the, the big L'Oreal shoot, which was pretty cool. L'Oreal. That was really oh. nice. Some really cool collabs were out filming Olim Hoff, which was, which was awesome, wasn't it? Then we went out to see our good friend Half Thor. Obviously, he's coming back, so we managed to get out there before the, the big volcano erupted. Uh, do some training with him, so that was really nice. Nice to see Thor. Some radio stuff with Virgin Radio, Talk Sport, had a wee tour around London ourselves, Jim, Jim Hamilton podcast, the high performance podcast thing, which is going to be interesting to mm. watch back. So, yeah, loads of stuff happened. We kind of did the rebranding, the rebranding at the start of the year. We've now got the logo, we've got the font, the, the colour scheme, these hoodies that we're wearing. Um, they're all sold out now. We just released them last week, and they literally every one is sold out. All the dry rolls are sold out, which is amazing. Because it was a, it was a bit of a, a scary one for us, wasn't it? Because yeah. we, we put in quite a lot of like financial. We invested a lot of money and a lot of time into doing that. And um, because it's not like the merchandise, it's not Tom and I on it. Um, it's more of a brand we're trying to go go into, um, and the quality is so much better. The, even all the colours, you know, it's more to do with nature, it's more to do with, you know, tying in with mum and like her kind of love, I guess, because mum loved nature and everything to do with that. So that's what we're trying to do and, you know, recreate something uh, special. So um, really happy. And even the office as well, you know, we've done that up as well. It looks a lot better, doesn't it? Jim looks good now as well. So everything's mm. looking very, very good going into 2024. Mm. Yeah, like Tom just said there, you know, we redid the gym. Joined forces with Primal, 
they're a great Scottish company based down in Glasgow. And they've been really good, you know, they've, they've helped us out a lot. And we've actually got a shoot with them at the start of the year down in Ryan Terry's new gym, which would be really cool. Yeah, and then obviously releasing the, the protein with my protein, Iron Brute. Hope all you guys enjoy it. So it's just been hectic, really hectic. Obviously you moving in here, getting yep. your, your dream home. Finally, can I actually do videos here now? Hey, and also I have filmed Numero the of the new house video. So it's going to be coming out in the new year and it's a good one, a very good one. Very, very, very good one. Very good one. And another episode coming after that, number three, which is going to be a good one as well. Okay, thanks. Just watch it, please. What can they expect to see in the next one coming up? Well, this is a teaser already. We're sitting... No, not showing them the rest of the living room, Tom, but they're sitting in the back of the living room. You've probably seen on the old clips that this was just empty. Uh, the bit of the skirting at the top bit was missing. So now we've got a table here, it's painted. That's all you're seeing, you're not seeing anything else of Tom. If I see anything else of my house on this video, fired. Also, when you've seen my games room, it was an old, rustic snooker table from way back in the Victoria times when Queen Elizabeth came over from uh, Great Wales, came to Great Scotland, found this house and said, I want to put a snooker table there, and the rest is history. Anyway, I bought the house. I was like, I don't want that snooker table. So I lifted it out, put it in the dump, got a couple of hundred quid for it. I was like, hey, I could make a pool table. So I made my own pool table. Wait till you see this. Well, after this, we're going to have a one-on-one -on -one pool competition. So before we start it, who's going to win? Tom Stoughton, the Albatross, or Luke, the Highland Hulk? That was our amazing Christmas dinner. Thank you so much, Sinead, and a huge shout out to Campbell's Meat for sending all the meat up to us. So we're now going on to the cheese board because... Can we do it different than the Stoughton's? We have Christmas dinner first and a cheese board after. <laughs> it's not what most people do. Yeah, uh, I just realised. Boyage cheese from France. That's the hamster, that's the stuff you feed the birds in the snow. Mm. I'll stick to my normal cheese, I like normal cheese. We've done quite a lot this year, haven't we? Is there anything that sticks out in your head from a strong man point of view and a personal point of view? Podium at World Straws, man, again, is also a massive thing. But then winning Glasgow, Giant Side was cool. Um, to compete there and win that was a very, very cool show. And then just being consistent the whole year for me and Strawman. Like the last two years, I've not competed after Worlds and People thought I could only do Worlds, blah, blah. So to be able to have that second place at Worlds and to stay podium the whole year after that was a pretty good achievement in myself. You know, you're not going to win them all, but if you can say, if I don't want to win this, you want to come third place at the latest, you're still on podium. So that was good. And obviously, personal is getting a house. Like, it's the biggest thing I've done this year. I've been wanting to do a house for a while, and this came up and obviously re revamping it to how we wanted. There's still a lot to work to do, but... Now we can actually have a house, host people, do stuff like this and not having to go to Luke's all the time. And, and I'm not scared to invite people over because obviously in our old house, as you guys will see on the other, one of the episodes, is we were living on top of each other, me and saying, now you can literally you know, have people sleeping over here and yeah, doing stuff like that. And it's, it's a fun and it's cool to have your own house as well. So that, that's my personal and my favourite strongman bits throughout the year. What is yours, Lucas? Ooh. I think Glasgow was cool as well for me. That was a, it was always a highlight competing there. For me, you know, proving myself that I was still top ten in the world, making the final of worlds again. Probably both our highlights was doing the Denny Stones with Harry. Just seeing Harry have that bit of belief about him, you know, because it's quite daunting when you're. We don't force him to do that either. That's what I think we've always said. We don't want to force Harry to do stuff. He was the one that wanted to do that. He made it his choice to lift it them himself. So. So that was cool to do that, and then, yeah, obviously from a personal point of view, um, you know, Kushi and I becoming pregnant and, you know, almost welcoming our, our little boy in, so um, that was, yeah, huge for us, obviously I'm getting on, I'm 40 next year, so it's nice to finally have the, the little man on the way and, you know, the, the support that everyone's shown over the last little while has been really touching and, and very... Uh, yeah, it's been an emotional last little while, so really excited to welcome him in the world and show him Big Tommy and Sinead's house. What well, if he works hard, eats his Weetabix, he could maybe one day live in a house like this. On that note, guys, thank you for all the support in Strawman and away from Strawman in helping us grow our merchandise, helping us grow as a brand 
on our business. We are always going to be so thankful for the community we have. And uh, we hope you all enjoy your Christmas. If you want to pig out, this is the only time I'll say do not go to the gym on Christmas Day because Christmas Day is for putting on 20 to 30 kilograms of body weight, watching on TV and being spicy. And have a great new year. Thank you. And if you're looking to lose that 20 to 30 kilos of weight, remember, check out the Stolten Strength Academy because it's going to be big next year. We're really excited about that. But only from Boxing Day onwards. We'll catch you there, guys. I think, are you full? Yes. We have a wee game of pool to finish off. Oh, we give a pool. This is a. Uh, she does the dishes. The dishes, man. One, One two, paper, three, scissors, three. shoot. Breaking's not over an advantage. Didn't want to break. This table's fast as anything. Like the other ones. Oh, she's she's lying, lying hard. Nothing goes down with a break like that. Jimmy White. Oh, you monkey! Snookered your Shelby. Oh. Oh! A little bit of Jazzy Jeff, boy. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, he's put it. Ah, <laughs> come he's on. It. Oh. Oh, my days, bro. Oh. <laughs> what the heck was that? Oh, my days, man. Oh, smooth. Call me Mr. Ikea, can I set everything up? All the... Don't call me daddy. Sid. Come on! Yes, sir. Right, let's rematch. That was, a, that was rubbish. Easy. Yeah. That was bad rules. And they keep rematching until... No, no, best that is... Best out of three. The young pretender needs to take a seat. Oh. Hey. Sometimes you want to touch it gently. Oh. On it like a car bonnet. Shots in! Go on, son. Go on, there, boy. Oh. oh, come on, bro. There, there. Oh, ah, too hard. That, the time I hit it too hard. Why? I didn't want to leave it over the pocket. Yeah, but I didn't want to leave it over the pocket. That's the reason I did that. I thought it was going to lose. This could go anywhere if it hits it. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, it kind of is your fault. Cheeky little. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Too easy, man. Oh. Do you play pool? Not at all. But it doesn't right, matter because you're Thanks still watching. so tall. Uh, you got me this time. That was a warm up. So that is it for the new year. Over and out. Thank you very much. I feel like the best man won. There's him, away. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Big love. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We'll see you in 2024.